Greenberg, Bill Stegall, then Michael Graber, if y'all want to kind of make your way up front here. So, yes, sir, if you could. Is in Antonio Blair? Not here, okay. Tooth Brown? Yes. Mr. My name, Brown. My name is Tooth Brown. I live at 1347 Harbert, uh, which is in District 6 and Super District 8. And <clears throat> what, oh, I'm sorry. What I want to say is that the zoo does not have a parking problem without the Greensward. The zoo might have a revenue problem without using the Greensward, but they don't have a parking problem. And we've got a study that leads us to all of the different ways that the zoo has an opportunity to park vehicles without using the Greensward. My concern about <clears throat> this ordinance is, not, is, is that the effect of it is not a placeholder waiting for the mediation to happen, but it is something that affects the outcome of the mediation. And specifically because it gives the zoo the opportunity to do what they've actually done previously, which is to walk away from the mediation and continue to use the Greens word indefinitely. It empowers the zoo in that respect to use the Greens word for parking without doing anything else. And it takes away the incentive of the mediation. I've heard a lot of support that the mediation is where the out, you know, is, is what our uh, method is for resolving this problem. Um, I don't agree with that in the sense that this is public property. It's in the trust of the city of Memphis. It should, there should be, what's happened in the past is that the zoo um, and the rest of Overton Park have issued a master plan which becomes public. The public's allowed to comment on it. And we all in the public see what is going to happen and then it, it becomes voted on. My concern is that there's no plan here. There's only giving the zoo the power for them to ignore the mediation and then this problem becomes indefinite. Yeah, thank you for your comments. And I, I guess what I would just, and usually we don't, you know, we, we hear, we don't, you know, kind of respond. I know this is a hot topic and passions run high, but I think just this week there, or last week, there was a pretty big breakthrough, and I think the zoo did agree to some things. So, yeah. and we got 300 more spaces, and there's a lot of other ideas in the OPC report. And so, um, and, and that happened in the absence of this ordinance. All we're doing is getting, this doesn't, all this does is get the process going so when the outcome comes, hopefully, we put it into law with an ordinance. If it doesn't, then the city will decide. Mayor Strickland has said that. So that's all we're doing here. We're not trying to change the outcome. We want mediation to continue. We want it to be successful. And I think it is based on the recent actions that have come out of it. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Stacey Greenberg and Bill Stegall.